Hello! Welcome to Las Bastions, as per usual videos. And, uh, I'm not alive one tonight, we're just doing a me. And Josh is behind the camera, so I can talk to him. Uh, I've been struggling recently with a lot of things. But one thing I've been struggling with is painting bronze. There are lots of different types of bronze on the internet that you can paint. Some are silvery bronzes, some uh, darky bronzes, some are lighty bronzes, some are polished bronzes. So I just thought I'd try out four shields. I made a four symbol. Four, four shields um, from my Greeky army, successor army from the Macedonians. And Espicua. For Espicua. Yes, lovely. And. Um, I thought I'd try different kind of ways of doing it. Uh, I'm going to do one contrast, one from black base, and two from retreat armor base. And just try and see what I can come up with to see what looks possibly the best for my army that I'm doing. And hopefully it'll help you guys at home if you want to paint some bronze to see four different types of bronzy lookingness, if that makes any sense. So, on my table, which is here, there's a load of paint and stuff. Um, might as well crack a lacken. I've actually got a game workshop brush today as well. <gasps> oh no! It's the, the game workshop small dry brush. And I have two regiment brushes on hand in case I uh, panic <coughs> and need some of the, uh, the awesome reg regimentness. And the shields are there, so I think I'm just going to go with one of the retributes first. Got plenty of different goals and stuff. Uh, the first one I want to try out is I want to try out the Vallejo, which isn't here. Where's it? Where's it gone? That's there. It should be. The Vallejo. Um, it is literally their bronze colour. It's 70.998. I'm just going to try that straight over the model. I've put a ball bearing in here, which you can hear. Uh, I'm just going to put a little drop on here. The first time I've ever used these, so a little bit there. And uh, let's see how well that applies. So I'm going to use my regiment brush. And uh, On there, and then just don't worry too much. I'll zoom in. Don't worry about the camera angle. I'll get a sword. Will you? Will you really? Uh, hopefully, yeah. If you don't do anything out like that, <laughs> challenge accepted. I'm a blue tap into some paint pots because they don't really fit in the. Uh... Okay, that is literally. Uh, retributive armor. Okay. Paint, paint's on quite nicer though. It's got the same sort of consistency as the Games Workshop. Um, Skip the brush already with that. But it doesn't. Hmm, that's interesting. Ooh. Yeah. So I'll leave that one there. And then, so if I go and get the where was it? Sikorox bronze. What if I bronze out and get it as well? well? This is Games Workshop's Sikorox Psych. Psychorax bronze, which is rather red in colour. Which again, that goes on quite nice. You can see the difference between those two. Next off at the black one, and I'm going to just base it with war, war plot bronze. Uh, 
Right, where are you? Yep. And this one's going to be like a building up the colour. So, give it a good base of four block bronze. Probably should be doing this with a, like a large base brush or something, because it's not, it's not ideal for regiment brushes. But. And I've done my strokes several different ways. I like prefer that to doing it one way because then you make it kind of like a, I think it's more uniform in colour. So that's quite a nice dark bronze. And now I'm going to try something while the first one's drying. I'm going to try, I've had an idea about mixing apothecary white and iandum. No, no, sorry, not iandum. Uh, Nasdreg yellow. I'm thinking, uh, like a good brush full of the white with uh, a little bit of the yellow for contrast. I've not got the contrast medium. It's over there. Is it over there? Empty. Fresh one? Yeah, just grab a fresh one. Mix that with a little bit of medium. So about half a brush full. And then paint that over. that I'm just going to build up the colours on there. Over time. Hopefully that big blob there won't dry as fast as that. So with this one, which was the Vallejo, uh, I'm going to take a, let's say, this is going to be the really shiny one. The really shiny one, probably just go over that with Golden Griffin dry paint as a dry brush. If I can get any Golden Griffin out of here. I'm going to use the small dry brush from Games Workshop for that. It's quite a kind of plasticky paint, this dry paint. You can hear me whapping the brush on the palette. Now I don't I don't do it over a bit of, of tissue. I do it over the palette because I don't want too much off. I don't like it that way. And just dry brush it over. Changes the colour a little bit there. So that all this is kind of like a, a learning curve for me. I've never really done this before. So we've had our we've had our <laughs> wall clock. I'm gonna go Balthazar Gold now. And I think I'm just gonna dry brush that over this one. I'm wondering if another layer over that of the layer. 
I don't how golden has come out. So, so I'm going to use this as the dry paint, what uh, bulfers are. So, just bring it over. So that's do a little bit to that. Um, the contrast is dry. I'm going to hit the contrast again with my colour I had. Which is still nicely wet. And this is a pure experiment for me, is that. Just to see if you can do it with different sort of contrast techniques. I've never actually tried that sort of thing, contrast, so it could be interesting. So I'm going to use a little bit of that Vallejo I've got still on the palette. Paint it over there. It doesn't really do much, that. Mm. Now some bronzes are really dark bronze, so, like that one there. That's got more of a green colour, interestingly, when you mix uh, apothecary white and Nasbreg yellow, you get green. Which could be aged bronze. So, on my phone, which you won't be able to see, which is probably good because it will go all funny, I've got up different sort of colours. So that is that one. So that's an, an, an antique colour. The really polished ones are almost kind of a silvery gold colour. Um, and then you've got the more redder bronze armour. Which is what that is. And then you've got the Corinthian sort of that colour. So that just needs to be more like light, light and, and light and light and then like put a bit of a rifling flush shade or something on there. And you've got like the kind of bronze sculpture sort of gold, which is more like that. So yeah, it, it's very strange because polished bronze armour looks gold and things that have done in, been done in a bronze finish look kind of that reddish dark bronze colour like that. So that's more like your polished bronze and that's your that kind of like bronze finish and that is your kind of... Um, I forgot what I said now. Corinthian. The, uh, yeah, the Corinthian going up to like a really shiny. So, um, the next thing I'm going to do to that one, which was the Vallejo one, is probably see what full to right copper looks like over it. Now, in all fairness, I'm not sold on the Vallejo bronze. It doesn't really seem to do much, considering the colour it is compared to what I've just painted. It just kind of like, 
It's like a really bit lighter, uh, bit lighter retribute or something. <coughs> now I'm thinking liberate a gold for this one, and possibly some Gehenna's on there, but I'm not sure. So this is fulgurite copper. There you go, and. That is actually a lot darker than I thought it was going to be when I looked at it. So that's more of a golden. More of a golden copper. Hmm. That's more like what you'd probably highlight Retribute with. Hmm. That doesn't really suit any of them, really, because that is lighter than that already. So. The only one that would probably work with is this one. Are these That's all, interesting. Are these all the golden paints you have out on your Yeah, I think this is most of the gold colours anyway. The, the other golds are like two uh, chaosy golds. Yeah. They're like all kind of reds and different. It's all the, the kind of cop coppery, bronzy colours. Um, Try Liberator Gold over there, I think. Let's try Liberator Gold over that light one. That Liberator Gold. So with Liberator Gold, I'm thinking... I might try and dry brush it over again, maybe. Why was I saying that? I think that's lighter than. Okay, let's try just edging the uh, the Vallejo one we did with this. Yeah, that's that's a highlight for the Vallejo gold. It's quite a nice highlight actually. Yeah, the only one you've got left is an Aurakama Gold, Hashnap Copper, or a Skull Crusher Brass. What do we do here? Try and blend that on the shield a little bit. So I've got a darker spot at the bottom. You can't really see it in the camera because of the light. But you can see when I turn it, you've got a dark bit on the bottom. So like if the guy's holding it, you've got your shadow down here. I'll accentuate that maybe with uh surfing sepia. Right, so that seems to be probably go into your polish. Now that's the brightest gold we have. So we could maybe mix that with a bit of silver. Uh, I thought Auricle's brighter than the brighter. Yeah. Auric is brighter because it's transparent. Okay. Because when you paint it on you can't see it. Uh. <laughs> it's one of the <laughs> shocking paints. Um, have I got a a really light silver. 
Is it storm host silver? If not, could you grab one for me from the shelf? Now, what to do with that one? Because that needs to be... I'm thinking if I put a little Lightland Flesh Shade. So let's make the bottom piece that. That's the bottom of each one. It's funny how that turned green. Nice yeah, storm host. So, oh, that's a Lightland Flesh Shade. Bit of wax just <coughs> in with it. And just put on the bottom of there. Still nice. Blend down. I'm shaking and open. Put more on the bottom there. See how that dries. See, it's been a while since we used washers. I've got that used to contrast paints. Well, you've been using your contrast. I forget that washers just go bleh mm. and just end up down. I right, see, so you've been using your contrast paint so, as washers, haven't you? Not sure what to do with that. Doesn't mean you can't use a contrast paint as a wash. So, so let's get. Again. that, mix it with Liberator Gold, 50-50, and see what happens. Okay. So these are going on your Spartans, aren't they? Hmm. This is what the colours for my Spartans. Just trying to perfect the shield first so that I don't go and paint all the armour and uh, end up disappointed in the final effect. I think sometimes when it comes to these uh, methods, some people end up compromising on the ease of painting rather than the outcome as well. Yeah. That's the bit that tells you apart from the uh, gold demon paintings and the uh, average Joe's in sense, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sometimes just be happy with what you've got mm. rather than trying too hard because sometimes you can try too hard and it end up taking you so long you don't end up painting anything. chance that one little brush stroke just putting the entire model out as well haven't you yeah you keep it simple you've got uh, more chances of making a mistake and easily covering up a bit more silver now so what I did before was I added some more silver to my mix just so I can bring from the bottom upwards in colour problem with this is it on the camera it actually picks up quite a lot of um, the kind of silverness. weird sil silverness mm. whereas on the shield it kind of looks quite nice and I've just moved it away from the camera so I can actually see because no matter how the light hits that it changes its colour so on there it looks very much gold silver but to the eye, when you move it around, it actually cha changes the 
clobbered it completely wherever the light hits it, which I don't think I'd like that to be honest. Because your models depending on what sort of lighting you've got just look silver. But I'll not be upset by that. What I'll do is I'll get some surfing sepia. Because again, I want to try wash washes. And I'll try some surfing sepia on it. I miss I miss washes. Wonder what that smells. <laughs> Put the wash over. It still doesn't really tone that down, does it? On the camera. Well, yeah, I'm not keen on that, to be honest. Well, thanks. although when when you actually look at the difficulty with painting metallic colours is depending on where the light hits them, it ch changes the perception of the colour altogether. The other things were where you're looking out for a camera, the effects will be different than in person. So <clears throat> the one that I put the flesh shade on the bottom, which was kind of like there. Hmm. You can see it's actually not gone too badly. That. No, you can just see the slight uh, change in colour there on the camera, and hmm. you can see in person there's. More of a uh, fresh tone added to that. So, that was the Golden Griffin, wasn't it? Dry brushed over. Yes. If I take some more Golden Griffin on that and see if the dry brushing technique works. <coughs> Mix a little bit of storm host to just brighten it up a little bit. Cough sweet, sorry. I thought you were having a chocolate bar. I was like, hey, where's mine? Right. Okay. That is. It's not a bad bronze. Still, it's not. El Copatillo. That third one reminds me a lot of the um, oh. 300 movies. Hmm. Bronze thing used on there. Right. My next thought with this one, which is now quite a greeny colour, was a little bit of the Nasdrag in the bottom and then a uh, half and half iandon over the top but again I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to work so I'm going to mix it half and half with a uh, contrast medium just what about using the uh, case Griff charge orange with it not Griff charge orange uh, that's how I did the first one I did, which looks just weird. Mm. Doesn't work too well then. No. Everyone says it just looks like they put orange peel on it. Ah, oh, it was too strong, wasn't it? Way too strong, mm. yeah. I've not tried the Nasdrag, it's quite a nice sunny colour, that, isn't it? So, let's go from the bottom. Favourite thing to do while it dries is to pull it down, which you can't really see the
the great thing about contrast is you can manipulate it as it dries. It gives it a bit more potential there. That bit you're doing there is going to be the bottom of the shield, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just blobbing a good amount onto the bottom of the shield. And that's I've got to stop there because it's starting to dry, which means I won't be able to do much more to that until because uh, it'll just take the contrast. Yeah, it'll start off. taking it off, won't it? Start peeling it. So to the darker one. We've done Warp, Lock, and we've done Balthazar. Hmm. So we need Balthazar 50-50 with something else. Hmm. Isn't that the same colour? More or less. I'll use Fulgurite Copper and Balthazar Gold. Because that is... Hmm, actually, Sycorax will probably lighten it up quite nicely. Yeah, oh. considering how the Sycorax went on the uh, second shield first. Hmm. So I will dry brush that again. We'll find it amusing if you try all these techniques to try and get the shield looking right. And just paint it gold. Now I was going to say, and then at the end of it, none of the shields are how you want it. And uh, just before you take the palette away and go wash it off, there's the perfect colour on there. You're like, oh, how did I get that? <laughs> <laughs> I better watch my video again. Well, it won't help, the palette's not on the video. <laughs> I just added some more Sycorox bronze. You can see where it's showing up in the video there as well. The highlighting bit there. Just drag down from the top. Funny because on the palette it doesn't look like it's changing. But when you go and paint it on the model. Again, in the flesh it looks completely different to that. That just looks like it's all shiny. Whereas in the flesh it's kind of like. Blended in a lot nicer, hasn't it? There you go, it looks better now. <laughs> Just hide it. Yeah, it blends in a lot nicer to the eye when it's not on video. <coughs> mm, again, there's not a great deal you can do to uh, bronziness. I think that's one of my favourites so far. Mm. 
which was the Vallejo start, wasn't it? Vallejo, Stormhost, and God knows, Li Liberator. Won it. Pretty sad, I think so. Fair enough, you and can only the, watch the video uh, and find out. Seraph and Sepia over it to tie it all in. on that. It looks a bit weird to me. But that's probably more like the Corinthian helmet look. Yeah. So probably more what it would look like. And that was the Golden Griffin dry brush, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Not sure how the uh the wash affected it down here. I think it just went on too stark. You can see it's just like a line. Hmm. It works better with contrasting. So, contrast. See how we've got different shades in there? So, to make that bronze. Hmm, I'm going to go with Skeleton Horde. Don't know why. Because I'm living life on the edge. That's it, Charlie there. I'm guessing the skeleton hoard's enough enough brown to uh, just send it that kind of bronzy colour. So we've got a dip of medium. So again is you'd probably mix your 50-50 in a pot if you're gonna do this. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a lot of paint going to waste. Right, so I'm going to put it all over the model. I mean, it's quite nice. I wouldn't call it bronze. Uh, I mean, when it comes to uh, well, the game workshop, was saying about getting your metallic colours with contrast paints. They were saying that what you do is you base paint the uh, retribute armour, mm -hmm. then That's you it. put your contrast on top. So I sort of get it. your coloured metals, but then. Mm. I saw a fellow on YouTube who uh, did a non-metallic storm cast and it looked beautiful. Mm. And he used like all the browns and yellows and stuff and I was just like, how the hell are you doing that? <laughs> I don't know how you're doing that. I'm not that good. Nowhere near that good. Uh, right, so I reckon if I use the Gulliman Flash rather than Flash Shade, I could probably get that a little bit nicer. Well, the cigarette sprongs one, the second one. Hmm.
I like it. I definitely probably would just go straight for... That's the easiest. Yeah. Because it's Sycorac bronze dry brushed over... Is it dry brushed straight over the Retributor armor? I think so, yes. It wasn't just Sycorax sprung straight over, was it? No, it was on the Retributor armor. Retributor armor was first. And I think it was, I'll have to watch the video again. Then it was Sycorax and I've just put that over it. I reckon that's probably the nicest for doing an army. Because mm -hmm. you can just quickly do that and then just drag it down on each shield. Uh, that is the easiest, I think. If you can do it all at once so there's more paints involved in that and then mix and liberate and store most that I'm still not sure about what to do with it and that is needing a lot of work need, need, needing a lot of work to get something out of that I think uh, I'm not sure what to be honest I think it might be the wrong base cut that you used. Just because of how slowly the colour's building through and that. Mm. It's nice to see what you can do with contrasting though. Oh, yeah. Right. Build, 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 building up layers of shade. Again, it's quite bright the lights on there, you can't really see it, but there is like, I think there's a definition of shade coming on there. The problem is the contrast tends to be Quite shiny. Hmm. Sorry. Just looks dirty, doesn't it? It's quite a nice kind of dirty bronzy colour. Hmm. That's that's still my favourite at the minute. Again, the light doesn't really catch it very well. You got your dark at the bottom, light at the top, transitioning through. Saying that though, you can actually see it. Yeah, do that, you can see the dark on the bottom, it, how it does transition nicely. Where's the light? It just catches the light at every angle, it's brilliant. Yeah. You can see it when I... So that's probably the nicest polished bronze, but that sort of dark bronzy colour which again it looks too shiny on there it hasn't got that shine when you look at it with your eyes that's quite nice uh, that's like it antique, antique bronze hmm. probably just highlight it with a hint of gold See if that works. That gehenna is gold, so is red. Okay. That needs a ball bearing. Yeah. Could you go to my tanker and get me a ball bearing, please? Of course I can. Oh, you're amazing. Well, I do try to be lucky. <coughs> so that's my different one so far, anyway. Gold, it tends to split quite badly. Right, do you want me to pass the tea or just drop it in? Just drop it in. I can't hear it. 
Think there must, there must be a lot in the bottom. You've got them little nail polish shakers. Oh, nice nice called cold assistance. <laughs> oh yeah, Josh. <laughs> Shut that for half an hour. <laughs> Check that while I put some storm host on this. Yeah. Oh yeah, now it starts making noise for you. No, no, that's because it just dropped a stone. Oh, I'll, I'll oh, I thought that was yeah, the listen. ball bearing inside. See? Um, deceiving. So yeah, we've been, we've bought some of the army painted ball bearings. Probably just get normal ball bearings, but you need the ones that don't rust in your paint. So, um, we bought them and I've been putting them in my Games Workshop paints and they work very good for Games Workshop paints. Might be worth definitely putting a ball bearing into the white paints. Yeah, that I would suggest definitely doing. Okay, it's, that works pretty well. Nice silver highlight at the top, quite a darkness at the bottom. It's probably quite achievable on multiple models if you just dry brush it over. Depends on what sort of level you want for your figures though. If you're looking for, some, for something easy, that's probably the easiest. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if you can... Again, it doesn't look like it transitions much. It does transition a little bit, I think it transitions too fast at about this point here. We've got a little bit there, but not much. Hmm. What I'll do is I'll... Now the thing is, are you trying to make it transition well on the camera? Or in real life, as actually looking at your eyes? Well, I've used the camera to see. Mm. Where it, because it is quite a, a large, tr uh, a quick transition up to the top to silver, mm -hmm. which in a way isn't what we're looking for. You know, it's the reason why I bring that up is you don't want to paint a model for it to look good on camera if you're rarely going to have a camera looking at it. If you always look mm. the, look at it through your own eyes, you want to look at, look good that way, don't you? Another 50 50 over the contrast one. That's the ball bearing. Yay. Still done nothing to that one yet because we haven't really needed to. You ready for your paint? All it needs really is, and I think that would work quite nicely, just water down that a little bit. Obviously, I should probably use medium, but I'll use water instead, and then just paint. 
just a highlight on there. With the watered down silver. And then our top edge. Just to give it that contrasting colour. Yes, please, if that's ready. Oh, right, please. <coughs> yeah. That worked wonderfully. Whether it does what I want it to, I don't know. But we'll soon see. Oh, one's still after all that shaking. I only want it from a bush stroke. <laughs> Just the one singular stroke. That a bit of a bright and colour to it. Right, so that's definitely the easiest one to do. I did that. I think we only evolved like two colours. That is all right. That one it's starting to get a bit better. It's that. starting to get a bit better, but I think yeah. it's still quite quite a lot of work to get there and a lot more work <laughs> that I'm lost really on that I don't know I might just put a yellow wash over it and see what happens <laughs> it's it's nice I kind of like it it's a little bit too dark for my tastes probably brown I put over it let's see putting some yellow over that works Bit out of focus on that. Bit out of there, yeah. Mm. We've got a sort of goldy colour. It's quite a warm mm. golden colour. And it shines a little bit, but so yeah, that's uh, probably all we can really do to them, I think. I don't think really anything else can be uh, attempted. Hmm. That doesn't work. Ta-da! So that's like the choices of... I still think number two. Yeah. The shade looks nice on it. And the brightness on the top. This is probably too gold for my liking. The Still nice that though. The other one's too a bit too antique. Mm. It's actually not as gold as it looks on the camera. That one. That looks quite gold on the camera, but actually it's quite red. 
Uh, that, I think you can get there with it. It might look nice eventually, but it's going to take a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Whereas that was nice, quick and easy. So, I don't know what it was, it was Retributor with, I think, possibly a dry, dry brush or paint of Sycorax and then the Gulliman flesh shade on the bottom. Just to give it a dark tone. So I think that's probably what I'll do for mine. And that's just nice gold, to be honest. To the area. I think it's a nice gold, but it's not the brass I was looking for. Yeah. Uh, even though there are some brasses that look like that. If you probably were to do it, do a so gold, you might end up doing a bit of that way, mightn't you? I quite like the kind of red tint at the bottom. It's kind of like a mixture between these two. Mm. Like those two meet in the middle and get that. So I bought a Vallejo paint for no reason. So, I'm, I'm going to call it there because the contrast one is going to take, I don't, I don't know how we're going to save that. That's just going gold. I don't know how to do bronze with contrast paint. I have to really experiment. And, uh, but in all fairness, that as a transitional gold, not too badly. Hmm. It's got no shine though. That's why I don't like non-metallics. So, that's them. My attempts at trying different sort of ideas for bronze. I hope you got something out of it. And I think that's probably uh, going to be where we call it a like and subscribe and love the golden bronzy colours. I'll give you a quick smile. I have to zoom out for that. A small red brick. Oh, I've all locked in place. Come ah, on, damn it. Locked in place. <laughs> it's got me! Yay! Hiya! So, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it didn't bore you to death. Uh, if you've got anything out of it, brilliant. If you haven't, oh well. Better look next time with all the videos. If you can like it, subscribe it, share it, show it to your grandma, and all that. Comment thoughts Comment, on any of ideas on how to do it. If you know how to do it, tell Coppers, me. Bronzy, sorry. So yeah, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind some health with bronze. That'd be good. Thank you very much, and cheers for watching. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.